Hello there, YouTubers, TikTokers, subscribers, non-subscribers, and all of you who are watching this video. Welcome to my channel. I'm your host, RoseRed17, and this video is about Eden Zero, Volume 29, Chapters 249 to 257. Now, as where we ended off from the last chapter, Rebecca starts to realize that she is the only one that can move. And then once she gets out of the water, she starts to freeze and also notice that something is attacking her from behind. She dodges it and tries to use her overdrive, but can as she realizes that her body is too cold to unlock it. Rebecca starts to recognize the intruder as Joker, and once she gets her body all warmed up, she starts to fight back. She managed to unlock her ether gear and took down the Joker, but then moments later, it gets back up ready to fight again, but got shot in the face, and the person who shot it turns out to be the older wife. Now, I know there's a lot more to this chapter, like this panel here. <laughs> But honestly, I think the focus is more on Rebecca taking this thing down while she has the chance and meeting the old Professor Weiss again. It turns out that Professor Weiss was tracking down the Joker and that's why he ends up here. And Rebecca also wants to know how is he moving while time is frozen. But it's discovered that time never stops. It's just going at a very slow pace and that is the Joker's ability. Once he disarmed the Joker, time moved normally again. And he also explained that there's a certain range of its ability and that's why he wasn't affected. Once everybody was moving normally again, they all had a chat with old Professor Weiss. And it's also explained why Rebecca was the only one who was ineffective to Joker's ability. And according to Rachel, it's because of her powers as the priestess of time. Rachel also explained that she lost her powers decades ago and why she was affected by Joker's time ability. Old Professor Weiss now understands why the Corona phase attacked planet Norma because it was attracted to Rebecca's time power. Young Wise realized that he still has his right arm, as Drake and Joe never got to him in this universe. Now Shiki asks old Professor Wise why he's chasing after the Joker in the first place, as it turns out that he was the one that built it, but it was meant to be an engine game, which is a software that was made to create video games. That is when Rebecca recognized the name as she used to play it back 10 years ago, when he wanted her to try out his new game. Joker was created as an AI as it required to absorb knowledge all over the cosmos. But it built its own intelligence as it was out of Weiss's hand, and now it's made its way to the Yukonon cosmos to take over the planet as there are multiple of them. The Joker shuts off all the power as Pino activated her light mode, and then the device where the Mother's Ether is stored has been activated as it points the way to Mother's location. Rachel wants Shiki and the others to take the orbs back with them to the Eden Zero ship, but then young Weiss noticed that they can't communicate with the crew on board. But then the old wise used his ether gear to rebuild the communication device and managed to get in contact with Herman. The two of them looked at each other, freaked out, but then the wise that she knows says that the old man is him, but he doesn't have time to explain as it's too complicated. Feather suddenly uses her powers to detect Joker as she tells them that there are over hundreds of them and then they can't get any closer than 50 meters. Otherwise, they'll be frozen in time. But Shiki and the others will deal with them as long as they keep their distance. Shiki and the others are heading out as Rebecca hugs her parents, promising that they will see each other again, and Old Wise gave Pino a flash drive if anything ever happened to him. Now, Shiki and the others are fighting off the Joker with the help of Feather, given the directions of each one of them. Rebecca can deal with some of them at close range since she is immune to their time ability, and then suddenly Feather detected one of them on the Eden Zero ship. Once the crew has discovered that a Joker has invaded the ship, Rebecca insisted on going up there to face her since she's the only one who's immune to the Joker's power, and asks Shiki to teleport her there. Old Professor Weiss wishes to come along and says he feels responsible as he is the one who created her in the first place. Once on the ship, Rebecca was the only one who could move freely and then transported into a game by Joker. Rebecca uses her own gaming skills to defeat the Joker, but then she teleported into a racing game. She tried dodging everything that was attacking her and then she falls into a tunnel and ends up in a Mortal Kombat game. She ends up losing the first round, but once the round two came along, Shiki managed to take it down as it turned out that the old Professor Weiss created a vice that canceled out the Joker's power of slowing down time. Now the three of them are going up against her. Shiki, Rebecca, and old Weiss get into the battle with Joker, along with the younger Weiss and Hamura dealing with its clones. Leaning one attack after another, the atmosphere in the area changes in the 
middle of the fight, and we see Rebecca chained up to a chair, while Shiki and Old Weiss are in another room tied up to a pole, with running water coming in fast. While in the room before they drown, Old Weiss suddenly start to ask Shiki if he is Rebecca's boyfriend. Wow, that suddenly came out of nowhere. I guess his father figure must have started to come in active. Shiki told him that they're not a couple or anything, but he was going to tell him his feelings towards her. But it gets cut off as Rebecca managed to get herself out of the chair. She figure out the combination on the lock as she noticed hints around the room. Now she's heading for Shiki and Old Weiss ready to save them. I actually like the fact that the creator put that little conversation with Shiki and Old Weiss about Rebecca. There's also one more thing I wish to mention. Now during the time when this chapter was released, people saying that the Joker was actually Labilia. I didn't believe it at first, but after this chapter, I started to see it myself. The Joker is more interested in playing with Rebecca than anyone else. I mean, during the last few chapters, Rebecca was pretty much in the lead of all this before Shiki came out to help. It's a good theory, but I know the truth now. And the truth that it's not Labilia. Sorry for the spoilers. Rebecca can't seem to get the door open as she then looks at the screen, seeing Shiki and Old Weiss drowning. But then she notices the symbol on the door and the word saying, Open the right door. Rebecca noticed the five elements, fire, earth, metal, and water. She took a look around the room as she managed to figure out a secret door underneath a pile of dirt on the ground. She opened it up and then fell through and ended up in another room filled with with millions of doors. The Joker told her that only one door is the real door, so Rebecca checked the first door, then it said it's the wrong one, and then she gets attacked. She opened up another door, and this time it was Witch telling her that it's the wrong door as well, and gets zapped. Rebecca looked back at all the other doors, and then she remembered that when she was a kid, she played this exact game. She realized that the same game that she played as a child, and ends up finding the right door, free and Shiki and Old Weiss. But the Joker is not done playing with Rebecca as she grabs her. Shiki wanted to help, but Old White stopped him. Rebecca learned about Joker's true intention and that she just loved helping people have fun. Rebecca reaches for the face of the giant Joker and then bursts through the wall to precede the real Joker with embrace that she wants her to keep making games for all the kids out there who enjoys having fun. And with all that, the other Jokers disappear. Old Professor Wise came aboard the ship and greeted by all the crew members, as Witch thanked him for saving not not only Rebecca, but everyone else as well. Laguna is also wondering if Joker is gone for good, but the old wife told him that she never had a physical body as she was just a game engine. Now Happy and Hammer are also wondering if she's willing to attack him again since she is working for Void. But Shiki said that it's going to be okay because he saw a smile on Joker's face before she disappeared. Hino was wondering why would a game engine work for Void, but the old wife told him that even he doesn't even have a clue. But then Pino remembered something after Old Weiss looked at her, and he gave Pino a flash drive with the missing memories about the secret of the four shining stars. The two met on planet Norma, and Pino asked him to remove those memories herself, and that she was going to wait for her master in that case, the case where the young Weiss found her. Pino is of course shocked about this, and is not sure what to do, and not sure if she wants to have those memories reinstalled into her or not. But the others don't want to pressure her, except for sister who wants her to open the memories. Old Weiss takes his leave as he heads back to Norma, says his farewells to everyone on the crew, including his younger self. After they left, Shiki advised everyone to continue on their journey in the Finding Mother. Hermit installed the Mother Ether into the ship, and they transport it into a completely different cosmos through some sort of border. Then, Pino finally decided to install her old memories as she sees a screen of her master, and then she started crying, knowing the truth about Zeke and the Four Shining Stars. Makes you think about the awful horrors that might approach us in the future chapters. The crew found a planet in the Unknown Cosmos, and according to their data, it's the largest one they ever seen. Also seemed to be the coldest, and there's no life forms living on it. Later, Shiki and Rebecca find Pino, and they notice that she seems a bit down, as she realized that she installed the memories that Old Weiss gave to her. But then, she suddenly starts shutting down. Meanwhile, Hermit is checking out the improvement of Weiss's new suit. But then she started touching him, no, not in that way, and starts teasing him. Hermit jokes around about a human being shy towards an android. But then, Weiss says this. It's not about being human or android. It's because it's you. Ladies and gentlemen, the ship has sailed. Weiss X Hermit is now canon! <laughs>
Carmen blushes and yells at Weiss as he looks away with that expression on his face. Then we see a conversation between Valkyrie and Hamura. Valkyrie is concerned about her life in this universe, and she told Hamura that there will be a time where they have to say goodbye. But Hamura won't be able to handle the pain again, and so Valkyrie embraces her with a hug. Sister realized that the Eden's wine came from the Yukino Cosmos and was wondering if it's still around, but then Shiki came in with Pino unconscious as Sister takes a look at her. But then we see the memories of the four shining stars from 20,000 years ago, and it seems like all of them used to be human. They also all seem to know each other, and then at the end we see Hermit running towards somewhere, saying that the planet is screaming. What's that all about, I wonder? Sister tries to figure out the cause of Pino's sudden collapse, but she couldn't find anything wrong with her system, and it's not an ether gear problem either. But then suddenly, they are being attacked by a group of dragons, as they discover it's Acnoella, who has followed them into the other cosmos. The Eden Zero fire back, but has no effect, as Hermit just remembered that they need a special anti-dragon ether. So to buy Hermit some time to recreate the device, Shiki, Rebecca, Laguna, and Jin go out into space to fight off the dragons. But the ship is taking too much damage as it won't hold out for long, so Valkyrie decide to head out and take down Acnoella, but then stopped by Bargadine. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I've always been bad with names, so I wouldn't know. Shiki and Rebecca notice the Dark Stars were there, which means the Eden's One isn't far behind. Then Eden Zero started to get hijacked as Wish has encountered Wizard. Then another shocking discovery that 20,000 years ago, Witch and Wizard were an engaged couple named Lettered and Regret. Oh man, talk about an unexpected ending. Who would have thought that these two would end up being a married couple, or more like an engaged couple? I know somewhere in a social media network there was a theory that these two were a married couple from a long time ago since this panel from this chapter was shown. But there was also a lot more going on as we finally discover the secret of the Shining Stars and we get this flashback of 20,000 years ago when they were once human but something tragic must have happened and they end up becoming androids and they end up becoming the Shining Stars and the Dark Stars who become servants to Zeki. There's so much going on on with this series and makes me want to read more, even with the new chapter release and it's actually really getting me hyped up for the upcoming events. And I would love to talk about those volumes in the future videos. Well then everyone, thank you for watching and if you are new here to this channel, you can please subscribe if you like to. You can also hit that notification button for new updates on my newest videos. Don't forget to check me out on X, TikTok, and Discord. And I will see you all in the next video. Rose for 17 out.